Paramount TV are giving you the Chelsea preview and the West Ham United versus Palace review. West Vidos reviewing his Palace. Um, first half was it was the same thing we see in Moyes' tactics. He's not going to change his tactics. First half Palace bossed the game. Second half West Ham dominated the game. Um, I'm disappointed in the first half. I was like. Yeah, because um, Zaha scored Diop because of Diop's fault that Zaha scored we shouldn't have been too defensive against Palace we should have got the three points against Palace we should have showed our attacking demeanour against Palace but we didn't show our attacking demeanour um, the possession sorry um, match stats we have got Okay, I can actually show you. So, match stats, we have got Palace, um, got 48 possession, 52 possession for us. But, um, Palace had eight shots on target, West Ham had nine. So, um, eight shots, nine, nine shots. Um, two shots on target from each team. Um, five corners, three um, corners for Palace, fouls eight, Palace conceded um, 13, so 12, um, Palace on the other hand have made 12 fouls, which included Ben Teke's red card, um, I felt that was a red card for Benteke, he did elbow him in the head. The thing is, if Benteke didn't get an, a yellow card, I would have understand that. I would have said, no, it's a yellow card. But he did get a yellow card and a red card. And the rule is, if you if you have a, a Premier League match um, and you got a booking you can't go and get, and get a booking it is the rule he um, can't play against Liverpool on Saturday that they make that um, they lost 7 0 to Liverpool um, but the thing is it's the rule it's the rule and the referee done, done the right decision 17th minute Haller scored and Ben Teke scored um, the thing is as you can tell at this date, Palace is 12th in the league. And um, where we are 7th in the league at this position, at this point. Um Halea's goal was wonderful. By some cool kick. Bam. It was went right in. The end. Um But yeah, it, because we've got Chelsea today, we have to have the attacking threat. Um this is the attacking threat that that we do have. Moyes doesn't want to use it that much. And now, I'm all for attacking threats. I'm all for having this whole attacking um, side. And it's, for me, it's disrespectful for a manager to not use his attacking threat. I don't know why. I actually don't know why. But if he played well against Leeds, he played and he, he he's rushed. He, I remember Palace had a game on Sunday. We had a game on Friday. So we should have got the game running. And I thought like it was a stupid thing for Moyes to do. And I hope he doesn't do that to Chelsea and um, West Ham versus Chelsea because they do have the attacking threat. Um. My man of the match, I'm going to give it to Vladimir Kufal. He was a great right back. He handled um, Zaha very well. As a are you, he stopped the attacking threat because I um, see the attacking threat they had. Palace had as a Benteke, Zaha, uh, Jordan I and the thing is like they have a good attacking side but it was just their defensive side where can you say 
it's a massive error. Um, Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea's today. Um, Hakim Ziyech and um, Callum Hudson and Dyer has returned to in training, but is Frank Lampard um, going to risk playing them? I don't know. Um, So, um, injury wise, no injury wise for um, Frank Lampard. He said that on his press conference that he hasn't got any injuries, which is bad for us. West Ham, um, Bob Green might return for West Ham. After putting a minor road strain, so that's why he couldn't play against Palace. Antonio has returned to training after a hamstring problem he had, and will be assessed ahead of the game. Um, so it's gonna be an even game for us. Head to head, West Ham had done the double last season after winning the league. Um, after winning the league match against Chelsea, one nil at Stamford Bridge and three two at home. The West West Ham have won three matches in a row in the top flight since of since one of four between September nineteen seventy two and March nineteen seventy four. So that means we. Old streets are meant to be broken. Uh, Chelsea have lost only one of their past 14 home games against West Ham. That is bad news for us. Um, Chelsea has lost two games. The last two games, they lost 2 1 against Wolves. They lost 1 0 against Everton. I mean, uh, West Ham have not won, have not um, lost a game since Manchester United. They won against Leeds and they won against, you know, they won, they won against, um, so they won against Palace. Um, West Ham are taking a first consecutive away win in the league. West Ham has have won half of their six away league games matches this season. They have taken 13 points from their last six games in the top flight. Moyes has not won any of his 15 matches as a manager at Stamford Bridge. Wow. West Ham have played more... Wow, this is actually so... When that... It's actually strange. West Ham have played more Premier League fixtures on Monday than any other team. This will be the 79th game on Monday. I didn't even know that. And that's just embarrassing to know. Thank you very much. Chelsea's 2021 starts West Um, They played 13 games at home. They... Um, one three drawn two one loss. Um, they played more away games. Um, match played seven, one three drawn two, lost two. That's embarrassing. For a team like Chelsea, they shouldn't have been in that situation. <laughs> in that situation. Um, I, I spoke to my friend. He says that um, he's a Chelsea fan, Casey. He said that he doesn't like... He's saying that um, Chelsea has been in a poor form. I agree with Casey. My, um, he also said that um, Werner and Havertz has been shit. In my words, by the way. Um, 
they don't do they always rely on them but they don't turn up to games which is embarrassing for Chelsea but they do have Giroud and Abraham so we have to worry about that um let me try this I haven't checked West Ham uh West Ham Okay. While West Ham, West Ham has played 13 games, match home 7 games, away 6. Oh, well, I thought um, West Ham played more games away than home, but I am wrong. Um, we have um, 13 matches. We won 3 at home. That's actually bad. Wow, wow, wow. Tenth in the league. Um, one, we won away three times. Drawn to at home. That can't be right. One at home and and lost four times. So. Totally, they won six matches. They drawn three times and they lost four times, but most of them because of VAR. Thank you, VAR, for being a pathetic little shithead. Um. Yeah, I mean, I am worried about this game. I am hundred percent worried about this game. They've got, they've got um. They've got a good team, Chelsea. They've got a strong team, but there's massive improvements. Um, <laughs> league table shows that Chelsea is eighth in the league by twenty two points, and West Ham are twenty one points. So we are only well, we're only the only one point behind Chelsea so if we win against Chelsea and Wolves win today yeah we'll be we'll be fifth in the league and Wolves will be f and Wolves will be sixth in the league and Chelsea well Chelsea will be 11th in the league and that's the thing if we want to compete for Europe if we want to go for Europe this season we have to win this game it's a must win game against um, Chelsea if we want to get into Europe because we need to get into Europe I'm not saying this as a I'm saying this as a biased fan I'm saying this as a West Ham fan, I want Europe. As last season we had a disappointing form, but I want to get into Europe. This season, I don't. I mean, let me come on. If you look at this year, I oh, know. Sorry. Yeah, we six. Yeah, if you look at this year, if we beat Chelsea today, we'll be. One point behind Tottenham, two points behind, yeah, and two points behind Everton, Tremaine, and, and Leicester. I'm not saying we're title contenders, but if we want to have a team that wants to be in a title contender team, if we want to play a team that wants to fight for Europe, then now's the chance to get three points against Chelsea. Because Chelsea has well, been in the right form, but they need to find improvements. And that's where we have to get the three points. We have, Moyes has to find Chelsea's weakness, because I don't care. I want that three points against Chelsea. I don't care if it's home or away. I want that three points. I don't care where we are in the league. I want to get three points. I want to get to Europe. I want to get in. I want to travel around the world and see Charles and see West Ham play against teams like, um, you know, go to Europe League, go to, you know, get into Europe because we did, we are in a situation where we can get into Europe. 
if you look in the table, stats don't lie. Um, predicted lineup, predicted lineup, squad builder. Now here's the thing: yeah, West West Ham has not got a. Um, we haven't got a CAM that's not injured because Lanzini has reported on his Twitch stream that he is injured. So sadly, I don't know what to do. Oh, well, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. The, uh, I just thought something. Thank you, FIFA 21, for this whole... Um, Oh, wait, you can't do that. Yeah, I'm trying to... Um... Actually, wait, I do you? This is actually going to be risky for doing this, by the way. Um, um, but I am using Squad Builder 521 to do my predict lineup. So this is how I think West Ham would start in their lineup. We have got Fabianski in goal, obviously, no choice. Um... Bab Wainer of Bonner, I think Diop, I think because of Diop's poor performance on Wednesday, we're not going to use him. I think it will be best if we don't use um, Diop. Um, 4 3 3 formation, um, obviously. Um, Q foul on the right, and um, press one on the left. Um, because basically, if you look at this, yeah, they haven't been in a situation where. I mean, I think Masawaki is injured. I think Masawaki is injured because if he's not injured, I can add him. Masawaki. Oh, Injury list, injury list, APR injury list, and suspensions. Uh, six. Let's check. Oh, um, yeah, Maswalk is out. Um, about everyone is in. Late 15 fitness test, 50%, 75-50. Everyone's got, um, but Lanzini can't play. Um, Suchek is actually a weak, um, midfield. Um, I'm going to go for Suchek and Rice as the CDMs. Let's just change that to CDMs. Uh, right, right. CJ and Rice CDMs. Noble, I think I'm the only one that's saying Noble in f up front. So there's a CAMs. Um, yes, Noble's old, but we have to use him. Up front, I want to rest for now. A lot of people are saying rest for now, and I am resting for now because he needs to be rested. Halle and Bowen, that is a strong lineup, except Noble. I um, don't know if we're going to use Lamelenko or Snodgrass to replace Lanzini, but I hope I think we're going to need something like Yamalenko. Lastly, this is my combined 11 for Chelsea versus West Ham. I have got a 4 4 2 formation for West Ham versus Chelsea. Um, In goal, people will be surprised saying, why not Fabianski? Mendy has been impressive for me. I think he'll do well in the Premier League. Um, he'll have more games than Kepa, I believe. 
Kappa will be out unless Mendy gets injured. Um, CBs, I am going for... Actually, um... Yeah, I'm making a change, sorry. Um, Chilwell on the left back. He can sit in your Chelsea, he's been impressive. He can do something that can um, destroy defenders. He can, he's a good left back, he can come back and forward. Um, CBs, I've put Ogbonna and Silva. Silva's been a massive world class defender for me. PSG, I think mean, you can play for AC Milan as well. Um, Ogbonna, definitely a a good choice this season been impressive for me for he's my my best defender for West Ham. Um right back Reese James, another youngster that's gonna be in the team. Why not Q foul, you're gonna say, but this is based on he's been impressive. Um I'm gonna go for lamps. CDMs, I'm gonna go for Rice and Kante. I think can I think they will be a strong defense if we're gonna and they're gonna they can sit back. Um, plus, Kante's on 88, good form right now. I've got my fantasy football team, and it's been really good for Chelsea um, since he joined. Plus, a former Premier League winner. <laughs> Up front, I would put Pulisic in... I would put Pulisic all the way because he has been in a good form where he ha he's got the pace. I mean, 89 pace... He's got the ability to, to um, dribble past defenders, and I think he'll do good this season. Um, right, I'm going to go for... Yeah. Um, right... Right wing, I'm gonna go for Bowen, um, because Chelsea has a, a right wing, and up front. Now you guys are gonna say, okay, why not Werner? Why is Werner not there? Why hasn't Kai Havertz been there? The thing is, I'm. The, I can admit it. Werner and um, Werner is a good player. I I I am a massive fan of Werner. He is a good player, but I'm doing this based on. I'm doing this based on form this season, and one and Havertz has not been in form this season. They've just been total shit, and I think. Actually, I don't know. Um, they will do good this season, but I don't think they will. I don't think. Um, they're gonna carry out on this form. I think they'll they need to improve. They need to score goals. Um, but yeah, they haven't been impressive. Hi, Hakim Ziyech hasn't has not been in this combined eleven because I think he was injured. So that means the final two would be Halle up front with Olivier Giroud when it's crossings. When it's crossings, yeah, you you've got two big guys. Um, Halle and Halle and Dorit is, is is tall. So whenever there's a crossing, you can like cross the ball to um Dorit or Halle, and I think they'll score, and they'll they'll be a and it's a French connection. So yeah. Um, thanks guys for watching this video. I know this is long, but I had something planned today. I was supposed to. 
um, do a opposition preview, but one of my friends couldn't come. So I'm doing this all by myself. It's not their fault they are busy. I had to ask them on the wrong time. Um, I had four about it from yesterday, so obviously that guy has, my, my friend has plans, so it's not his fault. Um, hit the subscribe button if you're new, if you, um, yeah, if you hit the subscribe button, if you're new, um, hit the like button if you enjoy this, um, London Derby, um, but I need a chair and it looks sick, it feels comfortable, and yeah, peace, I'm out, come on you wires, see you guys in a couple of hours.